Let's go back in. And we were accidentally locked in a tiny cell together at the station. Classic, trapped together, simmering sexual tension. There was something wrong with the heating. So it was very steamy, like a sauna. So his uniform was clinging to his muscled body. Mm, until I stripped it off. Oh, don't tell me you did it in a police cell. Hi. How are you doing? I'm following your advice. I'm not thinking about it. I am not thinking about the hotel or the champagne suite or the two of them. I am moving on. Mm. All the way to the shops by the looks of things. What have you bought? A thank you present for you. Really? You didn't have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha, very funny. I was walking past the fancy dress shop and I saw it in the window and I just couldn't resist. Yes, all right, thank you, that's enough. <laughs> Maybe you can prop it on the pillow next to you when you're sleeping. Well, what's this? <laughs> just a silly joke. Well, go on, fill me in. <laughs> Emma has been <laughs> having some recurring dreams. About the police? No. No. More specific than that. <laughs> oh, that sort of dream. Excuse me, I have to make a phone call. Is she all right? Oh, I'm just overworked. <laughs> Tell me about it. Becky has only just decided to swan off this afternoon and left me with her massive to-do list. Like, oh, Mrs Tenby would never do that. No, she would not. No, and it's not like I haven't got enough of my own stuff to do. Those are very big shoes to fill. We can't expect too much. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't be banging on about Becky. It must be horrible for you seeing those two together. Nothing I can't... You all set? I cannot wait. Have you even packed the what? manual? 